Where's Mr. Music? I'm not giving you a dime. I believe that guy who plays Stairway to Heaven on a kazoo expects people to throw money at him, jackass. <laughs> Morning, sunshine. The usual coffee and a muffin? Or would you rather just chew uh, someone's head off? Hey, I've earned the right to bitch. You know, a window in my apartment stuck open. I can't get my super to fix it. You know, I, I don't get it. The guy can lash a dozen coconuts into a raft, paddle his way to freedom, but apparently now it's too much effort to ride the elevator up to 3B and unjam my window. It's like a meat locker up there. It really stiffens up my back. And what do you do for that? I bungee jump. It fixes it right up. Fine, not my problem. Okay, Jake, let's get back to this. Okay. Oh, here's an apartment for you. Two bedroom, wood floors, nice view. Well, the view's kind of a waste. Well, no, it's not. A oh, little wine. Little Miles Davis and me in a date looking out at the city lights. Then I segue into the soul for blind guy. You know, baby, what I miss most isn't the daytime. It's the night. They don't make a better aphrodisiac. Women actually fall for that? They fall quickly and often. Just look for your own apartment. Oh, here you go, Jake. Here's some place for you to live. Brand new complex just outside the city. Listen to this. Spacious accommodations, weight rooms, tennis courts. Oh, my mistake. Wait, it's, it's a prison. Well... <laughs> You know, that's good, because I hate it when convicts get paroled and their backhands still need work. And I suppose you think they should just be crammed into overcrowded hell holes. Becker, it's a known fact that treating prisoners humanely has made crime go down. Oh, let me get my doctor bag and treat your bleeding heart. Yeah, for your information, crime is not down. Oh, of course it is. You read about it every day in the paper. What's your problem? Can't you admit when you're wrong? Becker? <laughs> hey, hey, shut up, will you? For your information, when I'm wrong, I freely admit it. My first two marriages, dead wrong. <laughs> Another time, I, I thought I was wrong. Turns out I wasn't. So I was wrong about that. <laughs> now, I'd love to stay and set you straight, but I gotta go heal the sick. <clears throat> Do you really heal the sick, or do you just harangue the disease out of the person like an exorcism? No, as a matter of fact, I treat the disease with kindness and understanding so that it can come back into society and lead a productive life robbing convenience stores for drug money. Have a nice day. Oh, I hate it when he's like that. What, smug? No, breathing. <laughs>